Yes, sir. You eat every day. Yes, sir. Got a roof over your head. Yes, sir. Got clothes on your back. Yes, sir. Why you think that is? Because of you? <laughs> Hell, I know it's because of me. But why do you think that is? Because you like me. Like you. I go out of here every morning. I bust my butt putting up with them crackers every day. Because I like you. You're about the biggest fool I ever saw. It's my job. It's my responsibility. A man is supposed to take care of his family. You live in my house, fill your belly with my food, put your behind on my bed because you're my son. Because I like you, because it's my duty to take care of you. I owe a responsibility to you. And my father would tell me stuff like, you know, your life is your life, son. You know, if you want to have a good life, you got to work real hard. You got to get into a good school. You got to get a good job. That'll lead to a good relationship. You have a kid and you put that kid in a good school. And, you know, it's all up to you. My, my, my purpose in life isn't to be happy no more. That's what my purpose used to be, which is such a shitty aim in life. My aim in life in totality, my whole purpose for existing in life was to be happy. Mm -hmm. And... That's not, that's not my purpose anymore. And now? Yeah, my purpose now is to be useful. Mm -hmm. And so it doesn't make me useful to my wife to shame spiral on some shit like that. It makes me useful to my wife to show up for my wife and be stable for my wife when we take our kid to the children's hospital and she's tripping. Bigger scale, in a less specified sense, for a, lo a lot of dudes that don't have a masculinity ceremony, there's no puberty ceremony in culture. Right. What? When do you come, in, as an American man, when do you become a man? When you get a driver's license? Like, what do we do? You're 16, we give you a driver's license. Okay, well, wait, like, you get a job? Like, when do you become a man? You become a man when you become responsible for other people. And part of that is taking accountability. And so, like, I am very new to this being a man thing. <laughs> and I'm still not there. And I'm on a path. Um, but I didn't have no, like... I grew up on a in a culture that told me going to war made you a man. Going to prison and coming back, coming back makes you a man. Um, making a million dollars makes you a man, you know? And and it doesn't. And you don't know it till you didn't do, done all these things and realize, damn, still I'm a still baby. a little fucking boy. Yeah. Or You're a man. You are a man. Stand up and be a man. Make the hard decisions. Make the sacrifices. Make the unpopular decisions and become comfortable in your own skin. And if you are not a person that you are comfortable being alone with, that is the one person in this universe that you have full power, full right, and full responsibility to change. Be the guy who embraces the ugly, the miserable. Um, be the guy who embraces hard work, the grind. Don't be afraid of being hurt. Don't be afraid of sacrificing some blood. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide, fuck clubs, fuck partying, fuck trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. It's the easiest thing in the world to do. All right, man, I'm, I'm done. I ain't going. Oh, yeah. I ain't gonna keep going. Yeah, the I don't bit, feel like, like going to work. The I'm one, done. Yeah, man. It's easy, it's very easy. But what's hard is going, yo, yesterday I got nothing from working as hard as I could. Nothing happened from that. I'm going to do the same thing again today, but I'm going to try to go harder. That's the hardest thing in the world. Yeah, there comes a day, man. Everyone's going to have this day. There comes a day where being average, being mediocre, is just sickening to you. It's just sickening. It makes you want to throw up. Because you've seen people with far less talent than you. As you're growing up with them, their childhood buddies, whatever else, they didn't have what you had. Yet now they're fucking to become something that you haven't. There comes that day. It's either when you're young, you know, and, and it strikes you on the baseball field because you're sick of striking out. Or it's it's when you get fired from your fifth job, you know, and your wife and kids are on your ass because you don't know how to support them anymore. There comes a fucking day where push comes to shove. Where being mediocre, being like average and shit just fucking burns, it sucks so much. You can't deal with it one more day and you get off your fucking ass and you create something that's always been there. It's always been inside of you trying to come out, but you've never wanted to unwrap it because it's too much fucking pain and commitment. You were scared you were gonna fail. You were scared if you started, you never finish it. You didn't wanna tell anyone about it. You knew it was there, 
but you never wanted to embark on it until something fucking hits. You get fired or somebody else gets success reminds remind you what you could have been. And then the fucking spark is born. And no matter what happens, I'm never going to be in this boat again. And you get up and you go, even if it gets knocked down, you just keep going, keep going, you're a wild man. And life has never been so sweet. That can happen at an early age, it can happen at a later age. It's gonna happen to somebody every, you know, no matter what, it's gonna happen to you. And when it does happen to you, thank your lucky stars that finally you're alive. It's time to unwrap the potential you can be. Superior, man. It's within you. It's within every single one of us. And the people that have, that have, have risen to that level were no different than any one of us. It's just that they believed it and they were willing to work their fucking ass off to get it.